Where did the idea come from yeah. for an ordinary film? Uh, John Feldman came to me and said uh, he wanted to do a show about a family that gets superpowers. And, uh, and um, I had worked uh, in, over the last couple of years working on uh, the script for GL, and I had done a lot of family shows. And so we sat around and talked for about two months and uh, hatched the story. Okay. In your words, then, how would you describe it? I think it's a family that's just like us, that obviously something extraordinary happens to them. And, uh, and uh, we get to blend, hopefully, all the great elements of a great uh, action-packed superhero show with the great elements of, uh, of, a, of a family show. And that, that blend of those two things, I think, it hasn't sort of been done on network television. And so that's, that's exciting to me. Okay. After the pilot then, what sort of format will the show take on a week-to-week -week basis? Yeah, it's, uh, there'll be, uh, everyone will be, each of the characters will be involved in their own story. And Jim, you know, at the heart of that is Jim, who's found his soul as a crime fighter. And uh, sometimes he'll be fighting people with powers, sometimes without. And, uh, and, and still, we'll, ha we'll blend that, hopefully, with great stories for the kids who are going through what they're going through in school, dealing with their powers. And, uh, and Stephanie, who uh, we come to find pretty soon that her company is somewhat involved in this uh, thing that's happening. So there's sort of a, even an element of corporate intrigue. So it's, it's a real hybrid drama, you know. I mean, it's, it's probably half action-packed drama and half family drama mixed together. How important is it to have a kind of mythology in this show? Very important, I think. Uh, uh, more than anything, just because it adds to the sense of the reality of it, I think, you know. Um, and so we're always asking ourselves in the show, you know, how can we make this as real, as feel as real as possible? And, uh, and I think out of that comes a mythology, because it's, you know, if it, it's not uh, fanciful how this thing happened to them. It happened to them in a real way. So I think that's the, uh, that's the, the key to it. I'm going to one more question, so I'm going to ask sure. you something a bit different. Um, it's four years on since um, Everwood was cancelled. Yes. I'm still that getting was... mails about that from oh, people really? complaining. <laughs> How do you look back on the show? Have you found closure with its cancellation? I definitely found closure with it, but, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's still probably, uh, it's definitely one of the things I'm the most proud of, but it was a real uh, incredible time in my life, so I have incredibly fond uh, memories of that time and the stories, and, the, and the, it was a real, uh, I, it's, I've never, I've never, had an experience quite like it since. Okay. It's definitively closed then, there's oh, no yeah. plans to go back to it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's done. Everyone's moved on, gotten old.